Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be part two of the 86 Tops box break. Uh, just to uh, reiterate, if you didn't see the first video or part one of this series, um, this box of 86 Tops that I bought was BBCE certified. Um, we're not going to see that now because I already peeled the uh, cellophane and uh, the, the proof of certification off the box when I did the first box break. But what we're going to do now is open up the second half of this box. Just to reiterate from the first one, I'm going to go a little quicker than normal. Um, trying to get this video done in maybe about 10 minutes versus 30. Um, the goal cards in this set of 86 tops are the Nolan Ryan, Eric Davis, Ryan Sandberg, Pete Rose, Ricky Henderson, Don Mattingly, Roger Clemens, Kirby Puckett, Cecil Fielder, and George Brett. Those are all the cards in a PSA 10 that are worth over $250 currently. From the last break, we got one of these. We got a Ryan Sandberg. So let's see if we could get at least one or two more of these guys in round two. So without further ado, let's get rolling. This gum has been a problem on all these packs. It sticks to the cards. So Thurman, Mike Moore, Wade Boggs, boom. That's a good one. It's not on that list, but it's like right after Brett. So that's a good one. Oh, yes. Pete Rose. Good. It's off centered. Not ideal, but still got the Pete Rose. It's a good one. I think the there's two Pete Roses. There's the inaction player, and then there's the manager. That's the manager one. I think the valuable one is the one where he's batting, but still got a Rose. It's good. Two potential hits in one pack. That's good as a Don Baylor. That's kind of cool. Steve Bedrosian. All right. Can get that gum off these things. Pack number two. Rick Sutcliffe. Carlton Fisk All Star. Jaeger. Good and record breaker. Tw youngest 20 game winner in modern history. Good for him. All right. Reynolds. There's Alan Trammell. So none of the no hit no big hits in that pack. It's fine. Got kind of two, like one and a half in the first pack, so that's good. Oops. Let's see, come on. Nothing so far in this one. Tony Perez is kind of cool. Jared Kemp, Dave Parker. All right. First pack was definitely better than the second, but still, first pack was pretty solid. Dan Quisenberry All-Star. I'm going to send that one to uh, Jeff Tompkins. He's a huge Quisenberry fan. Gidry. Saberhagen. That's his rookie card. That's no, his second year. Dale Murphy. Lance Parrish. God. Jack Clark, that's a cool one. Huh, hang on to that one. Let's see what we've got going here. So, so far, not too bad. These second half packs seem to be a, you know, trending in a little slightly better direction than first half pack, so that's good. Eddie Murray, nice. That's a pretty good card. I'll put that in this pile. Who the hell's Damaso Garcia? Well, he must have been good at the time. Yeah, Ray Smith. That's a Garvey. That's cool. All right. 
that last last pack wasn't great. Fingers crossed for this one. Let's see what we've got. A Buckner. All right. Darren Dalton. Sharon. Dave Henderson and a Dusty Baker. All right. Let's see what we got here, guys. Let's see if we can pull Henderson, no. Don Slot. That's like the tenth on the heart I think I pulled from. This box, yes, a second Ryan Sandberg. There you go, that's one of the big hitters. This one looks pretty good as well. The other one was pretty good, so we're gonna get both of those. SG seed, possibly. I don't know if I'm gonna do PSA for a while. They wasn't thrilled about the grades I got on the last one. Plus I have a couple other, sent a couple other boxes to them for grading and they're taking a lot, they're taking a lot longer than they historically have. Well, obviously not a one time yet, it's not in a year, but it is taking quite a while. So SGC is really quick right now, so I might send those Ryan Sandbergs to SGC. Let's see what else we got. Darren Dalton, Thurman, Mike Moore. Boom, a second Wade Boggs, like that. And a second Pete Rose, huh? It's like the first pack. <laughs> Chambliss Pasqua, I think that pack is exactly like the first pack. All these cards look like they're uh, Garvey wasn't in the first one, but I got two Steve Garveys, Hudson Walling, John Tudor. All right, that was a good pack. Oops, knock these over. All right. So far, so good on this on the second half of this box. The first half of the box wasn't bad. It wasn't fantastic. The second half seems to be better. It's moving in the right direction. This gum, just as a side note, my daughter and I both tried some of this gum after the last box break for about a quarter of a second and still tastes like bubble gum and it just, just completely disintegrates. Highly recommend not chewing the gum if you buy one of these old packs. It is quite disgusting. All right, wow, this one, this has not been as quite as good of a pack. There we go, look at that, Pete, the history of Pete Rose, cool. Jack Morris, Ed Romero. All right, so that pack wasn't fantastic. But still, I'm pretty happy with this. So one thing I do enjoy opening these older packs, when I open new packs and I go through it and I don't get a card that's like a big hit, I'm like, okay, I don't know why I did that. At least on these, I think I mentioned in the previous video as well, it's nostalgic, right? You open these packs, you get to see players, you're like, oh, I remember watching him play. I haven't thought of him in years. So it's kind of, it's, it's fun. So even if there's no big hits, it's still, to me, it's enjoyable. Um, Onyx Concepcion, cool. Camp, yeah, some of these are brutal. Look at the, look at that thing. Got looks like somebody cut this with their teeth. Bobby Brown, Phil Necro, look at that oldest pitcher to hurl a shutout. He definitely looks old, so it's a good card. It's accurate. Jeff Reardon, Alan Wiggins. All right. Got about nine more packs to go, so we'll try to speed things up. Don't want you guys spending a half hour watching this video. George Brett All-Star, good card. Ron Reynolds, a smash. Thank God that's not a big one. David Green, wait. Tom Herr, All-Star. Mm. Terry Francona. Uh, Dempsey, Stapleton. Nope, not a bit. That was not the best pack. But again, it's cool to see some of these old names that I haven't really thought much of. And 
35 years. Brings back the memories, guys. That's why we do this. Too bad that's not the basketball player. Good card. Bobby Valentine. Oh, there's a Tony Gwen. Nice. That was on that list. Um, Andy Van Slyke. Too bad he's not on the list. Ripken All-Star. He definitely was an All-Star. Another Winfield All-Star. Great. Pedro Guerrero. That's cool. Oh, wow. Look at that. Another Pete Rose. But this is different cards. Oh, nice. And the Seaver. This one has, like, gum on the back. So I'm probably not going to be able to send that in. It's all stained. But it's cool. They got an 86 Tom Seaver. One of the greatest pitchers of all time. Just did a video. Showed his rookie card for the 3,000 Strikeout Club. All right. Five packs left, guys. We haven't got... The Ryan, which I have an 86 Ryan, but mine's a nine. If I could pop a 10 out of here, that'd be huge. Nope. Another would be McDowell. Cool. That's, that is a, look at this thing. This is a quote unquote pack fresh card. Completely miscut. It's got a stain up here. It's got, somehow it feels like it has wax stain on the back, but the card was in the middle of the pack, so I'm not quite sure how that happened. Dwyer, Tolman, Burroughs. Come on, let's get a big hit here. Oh, Dennis Eckersley, he's good. Kurt Wardle. Can't say the same about him. All right. Oh, wow. I had more packs than I thought. There's a whole nother row. You got to really speed it up. So... Is literally like glue sticking to this stuff. Keith Atherton. All right. Come on, guys. Let's get let's get a hit in here, huh? Nope, not that pack. We'll say though, this one, this second half's been better. This this stack of good cards is much higher than the much taller than the stack of good cards from the first half of the box. And I still have now it looks like I've got five packs left. I thought I had five, but I actually had an extra row under that. I didn't realize. Brewers leaders, Robin Yount. That's cool. Hoffman, Ozzy Smith. No. Come on. Harold Baines, that is really off-center, though. Yeah. Silent but deadly. What a hell of a nickname he had. All right. Four packs left to go. Oh. That's a good one on the back. Oh, come on. This is gum. All right, so I'm going to flip them. There's a good card in here, guys. I saw in the back. We'll see it here momentarily. Stone, Ron Darling, Reardon, Diaz. No, Joe Boston, Checklist, no. Ethan Salazar, Jim Sundberg, Clark Rick Adams, Clint Hurdle, Ted Simmons. Boom, but there we go. There's an Ozzy Smith. That's on the list, right? No. I think that's like just below the Brett on the list, so. That's a good card. I just gotta figure out how to get that gum residue off the back. But uh, yeah, that might, this potentially, I mean, the edge is a little soft. I have to probably just wipe this thing down with a cloth before I send it in. But uh, that could be, that's a good one for submission. Assuming I don't get like a four on it because it's not worth anything. Um, all right, last three packs. Just need that absolutely perfect Jim Mint Nolan Ryan in here. And that would be a good, Oh, not expecting it, but maybe. We'll see. Girl, let's, uh, oh, here's another one. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that corner right out of the pack. Pack Fresh PSA 3. <laughs> uh, John Tudor. Foley. Jackie Moore. Willie Hernandez. 
All right, so that pack was not great. Nothing in there. Man, some of these cards, look at this. I mean, this thing's got like this stain on Bob Forsh's name. I can't, uh, it makes a, you know what? I, I'm appreciating the 86 tops in the PSA 10 more and more, just seeing how crappy the condition is right out of the, on the pack fresh cards in this set. It's like a miracle if you could find a 10 in this thing. All right. All right, two more packs left, guys. Let's see what we got. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, no Hall, Pretty Hunt, Tim Burke. Uh, that's a, got Wade Boggs on there, so that's cool. Hey, Onyx one more time. Bill Doran. Williams. Oh, him and a super awesome miscut Dave Van Gorder. Wow, I'm just shocked how miscut some of these cards are. I mean, I get that from like the old ones, but I thought they had somewhat less than mediocre cutting technology by 1986. Apparently not. All right, guys, last pack in the box. Let's see, fingers crossed we get one more hit in this one. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, there you go, cool, Jim Rice. That's a good one. Not on the list, but still a cool card. Pete Rose, most hits lifetime. Man, I wish he didn't get caught gambling. Definitely would love to see him in the Hall of Fame. He didn't cheat like all the steroid guys did. And Floyd Yeomans, last card in the box. So. Got some of the big hits, guys. Not all of them, not even a majority of them, but we got two Ryan Sandbergs, um, which is good, and uh, a couple Pete Roses. So all in all, not a bad box. Not bad for what I paid for. I think I only paid like 120 bucks for this thing, so that's pretty reasonable. Hope you guys liked the video um, of part two of the 86 Tops block break. If you liked it, please subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.